Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today's topic is a quite simple guide to create red alluring lips with only 4 copics. First thing I do is to draw a guideline with a deep reddish colored pencil and from the perspective view the lips are shown a bit sideways which brings out more volume of the lips and a more interesting shape. The first color I'm using is R22 and with this color I just mark where I'm going to add shades and highlights and it will also help to have it as a first layer for blending later. With R27 I define the form of the lips and this will be our dominant shade of red. After I'm done I'm just blending the edges with R22. R59 is the deepest tone in this coloration and I just add a little bit of this color on the upper and lower tip of the lips for more depth. And after that it's done, I can highly recommend you to blend the edges directly with R27 as it's shown to create a soft gradation. If you wait too long to blend so the color is already dry and then you start to blend with a brighter color, then you might not get a good blending from dark to light. You rather achieve that the brighter color eats its way through the darker shade and displaced it. This kind of blending is not wrong, but I would recommend to use the wet and wet technique to achieve a soft gradation for the lips. Our triple zero is the brightest color of this coloration and I just blend the brighter edges with it. Unfortunately I made a little mistake about the Cupid's bow while blending, but at this point I'm telling you one of my favorite Bob Ross quotes. We don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. So just try to make the best out of your mistake. In my case, the lips are now more in shape. Now it's time to add some highlights. I used the hybrid gel pen for it and add only some little dots and hints of highlights. Just don't add too much highlights. Keep in mind, less is more, except if you want to create glossy lips, but then I would recommend you to work with a lot of different shades, gradation, light sources and highlights that follow the shape of the lips to make it look more realistic but this could be a topic for another future tutorial if you like. You can use any other colors or markers you have or try out other mediums for this tutorial. Just keep on experimenting and practicing. I would love to see your results of following this tutorial so don't mind to tag me or just use the hashtag HelloRumbo on Instagram. This video was made possible by my lovely patrons. Thank you so so much for your support. I have now some new rewards, so in case you want to help me creating more tutorials, just take a peek at my Patreon page and consider pledging. Link is in the description box down below. Thanks to the YouTube algorithm, I'm earning almost nothing since two years, so I'm happy about everyone who supports my art through being a patron or buying my art online or just even little things like giving my videos a thumbs up, commenting, hitting that bell icon to get notified if I uploaded a new video because most of my subscribers don't even see my videos in their subscription feed. I'm thankful for every kind of support, even if it's only a like. So let's head on to the question of the day. Markers or watercolors and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm pretty interested in what you think. I would have no idea what to choose and why, but let's see what you think. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative. Bye bye.